My biggest goal is to go to the Olympics and to be the highest air in women's half pipe. Anything in snowboarding, I'll send it. I'll send it big, I'll send it small, I'll send it however you want. <laughs> Send it. I'm Rocky Weinberg, I'm 12 years old, I'm a snowboarder, and this is No Days Off. When I was four years old, I wanted to snowboard. So I saved up some money, and as like a four-year-old, 20 bucks is like, it feels like 200 bucks. But we saved it up, and it was super rewarding, and I was like so excited when I got it. I think every night in the fall, I slept with my snowboarding boots and everything. This is my snowboard. These are my dog, Luna, Mount Hood. This is the board I use for pipe. It has sharper edges, and so I'm able to grip more on the icy pipe. <laughs> for a good pipe is when uh, the pipe feels really good to you because some people like it powdery and some people like it slushy and some people like it really icy and I like all of it. Be real patient, hold that line, good snap on it, all right? All right. So with Rocky right now in the half pipe, we're working on her line into every hit, making sure that's perfect so she can get the maximum amount of amplitude. My favorite part of pipes is when you just go up for that air and it's like, oh my God, I'm looking down and I'm seeing people like, oh, hi. We are now wrapping up the pipe and can't wait to hit some slope and send some back threes, some front threes. And do a nice back flip. My head when I'm doing a trick is, let's just send it. Let's go and I'm focusing on that trick and then see where I'm gonna land. And I'm like, all right, let's land it, done. What we're really focusing on working with Rocky right now is a lot of her edge work and line choice. Once she's more comfortable with that, her tricks just organically happen versus having to force herself into it. So a lot of it is just really strong edge work and building her confidence. My favorite part of slope style is doing that big floaty back three. It's just like, we finish. <laughs> I think my favorite grab has to be a mute or a nose grab. I got into snowboarding when I was five years old by like watching other people doing it and I was like, Oh, that looks so cool, snowboarding, and just having a fun time, like grabbing their board different. I was like, all right, let's go to the slopes in our backyard and let's just watch some YouTubes on it. And then we just went with an instructor like a year later and he's like, you learned this from YouTube? I was like, yeah. I would say Rocky's biggest strength at her age especially is she's really good at spinning. We can learn all the other fundamentals pretty easily, but it's good to have that foundation to be able to spin well. Rocky's greatest strength, I think, is her mental ability. She has a really amazing way of being able to communicate what she needs and how she needs to get there, which allows me to be able to support her to follow her journey. I got my nickname Rocky by mutton busting because just like Rocky Balboa, he would get hit and then get back up. I would get thrown off of the sheep and the next year I rode the sheep backwards and forwards and sideways until I conquered that sheep. I was like, I won sheep. I, I'm like Rocky Balboa. I can never get knocked down. Hold up, hon. How's my favorite shredder? Sandy. The last two years training with Rocky has been nothing short of amazing. She has a great energy. She loves to send it. She has the best, most positive attitude that I've seen in an athlete in a really long time. Whether she's getting frustrated, trying to work through a trick, or something's coming easy to her, her attitude is always stoked. She brings everybody up 
with her that's around her. She wants to see everybody progressing, not just herself. And that's pretty much all you can ask for as a coach to an athlete. When I land that trick that I've been trying for so long and haven't got it, I'm like, yes, I finally land it. And I'm like, all right, that's my proudest moment is when I land that trick and I throw my hands up. And yeah, it feels so amazing. Rocky's training over the past couple of years have been just keeping it fun. She's at that age right now where she really needs to find the love for snowboarding, which she definitely has. Whether that's doing slope style, half pipe, pretty much whatever, we just want to keep her stoked. And she has that passion where she progresses no matter what. Rocky's long-term goals are to make a career out of it for herself, whether it be to be the number one in the world and represent her country at the games or just be a part of the community and continue progressing and having fun. That's her number one thing is to have fun and send it. I usually train during the week and then I do my other sports on the weekend, which are backpacking, running, ice hockey, because that's a really fun wear sport. And then in the summer, skateboard and maybe a few swim comps. My longest backpacking trip was seven days and 50 miles in it. It was really cool because we alternated base camps, which means we went from different camp sites to the next. It was really, really awesome. So here's our shovel. We don't usually snow backpack, but we do know to uh, carry a shovel just in case there is ever an avalanche or we need to dig out the tent. This is our fly rod. It's inside a special case. Here's our breakfast. We usually have bacon and grits, some uh, ready-to-go salmon that you can cut open and eat, which is really cool. We have our sleeping pillow, my sleeping bag. We have a locator beacon, our headlamp, our fly boxes, and my favorite, uh, my pocket knife. And then this is my reel to attached to my fly rod. A great way to wake up is to hear wolves howl and make sure you get up and get moving. When you're backpacking, you're getting those strong leg muscles that you need for like going really, really high and holding your edge in pipe. And then you get to slide down these glaciers. It's definitely like a balance test if you can snowboard. No days off means to me taking days off from one sport but staying active all the time.